Oh boy, we are in big trouble. Hey YouTube, so I was looking at Zero Hedge, like I always do, and I noticed a story my brother-in-law told me about last night. Uh, he happens to be law enforcement, and he told me to go look up Deerfield, Illinois. And I kind of blew it off, and I saw this article, and I started thinking about it, and, and I thought, hmm, here comes the gun grab. So I went over to Deerfield's little website and started checking out their links and see what they're talking about over there. And they've already been sued by the uh, couple gun associations, which I think is good. But when you look at the language of what they're talking about, I think that's the part that is disturbing to me and to others. Um, but it's very telling. And what it tells you as you read through this that they have a corporate authority and it says repeatedly whereas the corporate authority of the village of Deerfield whereas the corporate authority of the village of Deerfield who is this corporate authority they speak of what the hell are they talking about isn't this a government that's elected or wait a minute does that how our system work it does work that way we have corporate structures set up as government and all of its unlawful none of its valid they go through and they talk about the weapons type um, different models of guns but the uh, like I said the, the telling part is if you stop and you really read through this they're talking about section 815-87 safe storage of assault weapons and exceptions safe storage was the first one then they crossed it out it shall be unlawful to possess bear manufacture sell transfer transport store or keep any assault weapon in the village and they had a section they crossed out that said, unless such a weapon is secured in a locker containing or equipped with a temper-resistant mechanical lock or other safety device properly engaged so as to render such weapon inoperable by any person other than the owner or other lawfully authorized user. For purpose of this section, such weapon shall not be deemed stored or kept from being carried by or under the control of the owner or other lawful authorized user. So they had some exceptions in there and they obviously took them out. So transportation of assault weapons exception section 15-88 is unlawful and a violation of this section for any person to carry, keep, bear, transport, or possess an assault weapon in the village, comma, except when on his land or in his own abode, legal dwelling, or a fixed place of business, or on the land or in the legal dwelling of another person as an invitee with that person's permission except that the section does not apply to affect the transportation of assault weapons that meet one of the following conditions. But they crossed all that out. So it sounds like they initially intended this to be a lawful order until probably the attorneys got a hold of it. So that kind of bums me out. But if you keep reading through it, do a little research, you can tell a gun person wrote this. I was never in the military um, or police, but I do have some historical expectations of self-defense so I don't know where this is headed I don't think it's good um, I'd like to see your comments I know some people thought I was nuts when I made a couple other videos about this but we'll see time will tell all right thanks for watching